everybody and welcome back to a Kenji's game with Kenji's here bringing you some more space engineers and the trading star system all right guys in the last episode we managed to build a arm um, to be able to trade um across from our our carryall all the way to the local trading station uh, we can also do that with the base um that's nearby but you know we're going to make this sort of our main base of operations for the moment because we're going to you know, see about expanding operations, making things a little easier, um, you know, while we're in this neighborhood, basically. I mean, we've got our sol solar array up and trucking as of uh, the last episode, you know, simply by pointing it towards the sun. If you guys remember, I told you about the fact that I'd used control. And um, yeah, and there we go. We've got this long um, piston conveyor system to our trading um, station that's nearby. So I'm thinking that we really need to add in more swifter ways of being able to um you know trade uh, not trade sorry um refine ores and and store ores and things like that okay so first of all i'm just going to sort out my tanks because they are starting to run a little low there we go Donk. okay so i just grabbed that so I think to start with we're going to expand out um, across this way. So let's get rid of some of these trees that are in the way. So we're using the grinder. Uh, where's the central core of that one? I think I had it, but I don't think you can get rid of this one. Oh well, we'll work around that one. We'll, you know, maybe make it into a feature or something. Uh, and we've got a tree over here. We'll get rid of this one here. There we go. And then we want our grey texture and the concrete. Okay, so while I'm doing this, guys, remember to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, tap that notification bell, leave us that nice comment below. Um, yeah, all your all your subscriptions, your likes, your contributions in the comments helps me. It also helps the channel to grow and also uh, brings other people to this channel to see the content that you guys are thoroughly enjoying or at least i hope so i hope you're enjoying this content i mean i'm enjoying producing it but i'm hoping you guys are enjoying it i know libra you got, you said that you enjoy it so thank you very much for your everything you know your, all your contributions everything you're saying you know your continued support i mean you know thank you i mean i really love it when you guys actually interact with me help me to uh help you basically all right so all of this is going to probably take quite a lot of actual um it's a good point it needs a lot of steel plate so if we whack 2000 in assembler one 2000 in assembler two and for what i'm about to do next i think i'm going to need to be in the cockpit of the mining ship so that i can go into the build and repair system so it might be an idea if i put a control panel up uh, a uh, your control desk somewhere at some point so that I can actually um, do this with ease. But I'm going to move the build and repair system to encompass our. There we go. It goes through the floor, so it's going to encompass our new build area and allow us uh, the flexibilities. If I had like a, a team of guys helping me out. You know, weld everything up so you know let's grab a load of that anyway for ourselves because we're going to need to continue uh building all of this up now, this is the bit that usually takes the longest is just laying down the foundations 
I mean, there's no real quick way of doing it. Um, but at the end of the day, it yeah, we're getting there. I mean, guys, let me know also in the comments, you know, how you guys are doing as well. I mean, you know, I'd, you know, I'd love to be able to start a rapport with you all. Um, you know, remember to check out some of my other content because I am releasing all sorts of stuff, Seven Days to Die. Uh, I've got some Grounded that I'm going to be releasing from when I had a weekend pass on it a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's only a couple of vids, but uh, that was enjoyable. Um, once I'd got to the point where I'd figured how to take on some of the more extreme um, insects in the yard. Um, ah, there we go. You know, seven days to die, really starting to take your life, if you pardon the pun. Uh, you know, it's more down to the fact that the new mechanics they've added has made the gameplay more uh, interesting because it's like you have to read and learn to be able to uh, uh, make uh, any of the things that you you need. So like, oh yeah, you want you want you want that four by four. Oh, you got to earn it by finding something like two hundred vehicle magazines or something. You know, it's that sort of. It's that sort of uh, enjoyability that I like. You know, it's, you know, not a short-term game, but something that's long-term. Something that, that it's going to take time to complete, take time to uh, come to any form of fruition. And uh, yeah, Seven Days actually does that for me now. You know, because I'm I'm also learning more about how the game is is to be played as well and same with arc survival evolved i've got to get back into doom content for that as well uh because i've learned a lot doing some gaming with rap rap thorn 64 uh yeah but at the end of the day i do enjoy space engineers because it allows me to do a the impossible like building this uh concrete section which is mostly floating in the air. I mean, after all, I mean, if you think about it in reality, you know, something like this, if I was to create it in real life, would most likely crack and and um, crater, you know, as we're going along, you know. So, I mean, you could even argue the fact that you know it's got like metal trussing in it to be able to support the weight, you know, things like that. So yeah, it is has a lot of uh, there's a lot of things you can say and do with this sort of game. Right, I'm gonna try and do this in terms of a. I don't know how do I word this. I'm going to try and do this in, in a way where I can control the flow of materials uh, coming in and out of the, the base. Uh, I want to be able to have it that there's a return policy back to the carrier's hold, um, as well as being able to take all when it's needed and oops, and store it as and where I need it as well so actually let's finish this off let's just let's turn this into a bit of a feature um, yeah there we go Right. I think first things first, I'm I am going to add some railing onto this. So what do we need for railing? We need construction components. 
Uh, do, 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 do I have any construction components? Mm, do I ever know? Okay, so we'll add a couple of hundreds of them to the mix. I, mean, I don't think we really need that many, but okay. So let's see, what should we do? Um, yeah, let's let's just have them in golden armor, you know. So we'll make something special of this uh, this bush, you know, sort of like saying, oh yeah, we, we we you know, even though we're building bases, we still respect the environment. I'm because intrinsically it's true. We do, you know, we, we love the environment, you know. Oops, hit caps lock. Uh, I've missed the side there by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, there we go. So we've got that, that there. So sort of surrounding that bush, you know, I mean, it looks nice, it's pretty, and I think that'll make quite a nice little feature in the base as well. So, eh, we're running around the base. Okay, so, how are we going to do this? Hmm. I think, therefore I am, I'm pink, therefore I'm spam, that... Let's start off by adding go back into first person. So we'll, we'll add in some refineries. Oh, we we'll have them in in our, our nice white for this. Um, now. I think as this is a, a, a ground base, we'll have yeah, we'll have a few of these together like that, and then. Let's see. We're going to need to have this airborne so we can put in all of the speed modules for any assembly. Or do we really need additional ones? No, we have any additionals. So, yeah, um, I think for this, I'm going to use the industrial set. So, going to I mean, let's add in a little bit of plumbing. Oh, if we had some interior plate on us. So, a bit of that, and back into the action. All right, so I don't want the conveyor boat pipe end. Mm, don't really want the conveyor pipe flange there. We will have the straight. I want to make. Uh, yeah, m maybe one more. Yeah, there we go. So we can then add in. A couple of assemblers, and they will be appearing to float in midair. Right. Uh, okay, there we go. We also then want to add in our speed modules, but we'll have them in. We'll have them in our blue. So you know, sort of like a bit, a bit striking here. So got them. like 
in this format and then we'll have those two and it's going to be sort of a similar uh, operation on the back we're going to have to add in our yield module we're also going to have to add in a means of being able to power all of this um, you know so more batteries and things like that at some point because I think at the moment the base has only got like two batteries on it so when left to its own devices it's going to eat through that like it's going out of fashion okay so That is our initial uh, layout. And from here, we're going to need to work out how we're going to get things back. And for that, I think we're going to make this a two-part two system. So um, Right, uh, I think for now, what I'm going to do, we'll add in a couple of blocks to support this. Okay. And I'm going to utilize the conveyor sorters. Now, For this, what we're going to do is this particular sorter here. We're going to have that as sort of like the um, convey as um, the assembler feed. So we'll turn that on if we want to allow ingots to come through and be processed. Um, we're going to need. A T junction here. Oh yes, I forgot. The there is a industrial conveyor sorter, and that we can have that on something to make it look like it's mounted I mean you saw the little mounting feet which were down the bottom here oh, it doesn't show it in in that particular mode okay uh, there's a cap there's a pipe cross that's the one we want so from here we want to come out maybe a couple and then we want to yeah split off again because what we're going to do is we're going to have going in this way we're going to have the as like a an, an ingot feed from the carrier and then this one here will be the ingot return to the carrier so uh, and sort of similar idea uh, here we'll have the conveyor sorter bringing in the ingots Um, sorry, the ore, I mean. Okay, Let, let's start laying this out because um, I am starting to need to connect this up to be able to follow this through. Okay, so we use the flange one there and then we'll just use... load of pipe work there I mean I know that's quite a lot but hey it's a good start um, where is it it's 
So I think it's something like that. Okay, so that gives us our feed into the refineries. Let's have that there. Now, you may be wondering why I'm going through all the rigmarole of setting all this up. It's because of the fact that I need more control over what is um, what is turned into in, from ingots, sorry, from ore to ingots, and whether I want... Um, Whether I want the ingots to go from the refinery to to the assembler or back to the ship and all this sort of thing, it's, it's all about control. You know, controlling the flow of of the um, of the material. Oops. Okay. So. That's that's ingots in. Now we need ingots return. So I'm going to separate these a bit so that there's no confusion between the pipelines because otherwise they, they could um, They can get confused and then try and all feed. Where is it? Okay. And then now that's all hooked up, we can then get rid of that and add in our Right. Now, there is one other we do need to add, and that is right at this point here. Actually, you don't have to put it there. You can actually put it... Yeah, we'll put it here. It is another control to open up flow to the ground blade. Yeah, ground blaze? Base. Oh, hold on, that's above that. No. Um, I 
yeah okay that's what I needed to do, needed to do was to find out where it needed to go right so what we'll do so we'll land back on our carryall and we will well I'll go inside of the I think I better go inside of the um, the mining ship so that we can then see what's going on as well as control the flow of things that are being made as well because well frankly yeah we are encompassing everything we just need to get all this made okay back in a sec just got to take care of something okay so now disaster has been inverted in real life let's see if we can avert disaster in gameplay and just noticing this isn't sparking anymore strange okay wow okay look at some of these <laughs> these requests 1600 steel plate for example all right well let's get assembler 2 working on that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 all right what's the next worst offender uh that'll probably be the construction components at no not in there 2100 so that at least get a lot of this um, you know sorted out in in due course uh, let's see what else we got all right now it's just sort of got to the point where it's just saying oh this is what I need for this so <coughs> excuse me small steel tube motors and computers okay so we'll probably need a lot of this so don't don't and don't probably covers everything So you can sort of see why I was thinking about adding some more assemblers, because then we you know, we could then go, you know drop down and go oh yeah okay we'll do this we'll do this, you know, as we expand this base out. I mean, because I'm sure we'll probably find ourselves in the means sooner or later where we go oh okay I need this okay I need that oh yep yep we need this. I think though, round about here though, I think we'll build ourselves sort of like a, a control tower, you know, with like a, a a seat in it, so that we can, you know, like when we're we we we're, we're sitting in this one, you know, you can see, okay, these are the bits and pieces that we've got, you know, this is doing this, this is doing that. Which is actually a good point. Why isn't that showing? Oh, because. Like here, you you see in the toolbar info, which I'm not sure why it's disappeared. Info. Oops. Uh, that didn't work out the way I wanted it. Hard.
There's nothing to do with the visibility, so... Right, I'm going to have to look into that, why that, that's disappearing, because that shouldn't be disappearing. Um... Yeah, we'll come back to that one at a later date. But you, you guys know what I mean. So we need a way of being able to say, okay, this is for this, this is for that, it, oh, this is on, this is off. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get to that in due course. I mean, look at that, look at that go. We are getting there, though. So let's go back to our build and repair system. So it's now saying we're missing interior plate. So But what I was so stinking is for now until all this is built and we've got more control. Let's sever access. And then that way, if these refineries come on and we've got any ore, or these, you know, these assemblers come on and the pipework's established, that we're not finding ourselves in the situation where all of a sudden we're like, oh no, why is this doing this? Oh, let's cut it off quickly. Because we've cut it off beforehand, we're in control. So back to the build and repair system. Same, we're missing a load of motors. So we'll switch the motors for a moment. Oh, look at that. You can see things are starting to... Um, let's slow down this. There we go. So things are starting to be made uh, complete. Yeah, in this new system of ours. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's looking quite nice. So yeah, and you see, we can now, we can now come out. We can control some of this. We can now start naming stuff as well. So if we were to like, or even do it from here actually. So, so convey a sorter. So let's select that one. So. Yeah, we've got a like base. Um, assembler feed. Actually, no, we'll have. Yeah, we'll call it an ICS. Assembler feed. So what we want to do is on that. You notice I haven't done the feed out for the for the components yet. That was deliberate. So in this case, we just want ingots. That's all ingots, and we also want to put here. Because uh, it you know, is gravel. Because gravel doesn't always get seen as being an ingot for some reason to be utilised. So I'm just making sure that it is. Right? So. We got that one set up. Um, so that one there. Again is going to be okay e e l base i i c s um yeah 
No, we have got a return. Because the return can go through this way. No, it can't. No, 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 no. Stupid. No. Wake up. Actually, it can do. If we were to set that to also have components, components can return through this feed. But then, yeah, yeah, we're going to have to do it that way. So, so. Assembler feed will add in components. This one here would be uh, ingot feed only, so that would be only whitelisting ingots. gravel Yeah, because that would be not be a drain all. That one would be a drain all. So if we go sorter, this one here. So it's EL base ICS return. We'll put that in its off mode. Drain all, and we'll go uh, whitelist Oh crumbs, I just reported something I forgot. Each of these sorters has a direction, like anything else. So I can't see that one yet. Have I got the direction right? Yeah, that one's going that way. That one's the wrong way round. Ah, bother. It's a one-way feed, a one-way directional feed system. So you see the arrows on top of the, the unit. <sighs> I'm such an idiot sometimes. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to make this entire system a little bit more complicated in me in a minute. Base, um, ingot feed, so off, whitelist. Ingots, gravel. That's the wrong way as well, because that's going out and not in. I should have been a lot more careful with this. Okay. Um, 
symbol of feed. We'll turn that one off as well. We'll have that white list as ingots and gravel. That's the wrong way as well. <laughs> oh, I'm doing well here. Uh, okay, so ER base, OCS, or feed. Turn that off as well. We'll whitelist ores. Oh, monkey nuts. Hmm. All right. We'll put that block in there to stop that from falling. also allows us to work on this without fear of everything collapsing. Nah, nah that's not going to work. That's, nah, nah, that's stupid. Hold on. So if I've got control of ore going in and ingots going in there, I don't need that there. I'm just adding in another level of complexity that is not required. I mean, I could double fail safe it that side. However, this is in the wrong place. Yeah, so I am going to have to do this. So, because I hadn't thought through um, what I'm doing. So, as you know, I don't want that one. I want the one with the flange on it, like that. And then. Uh, actually, because of the tree, we want it to be there. And then
is the T piece. There it is. Alright, we'll get back to that one. Uh, that'll go there. That'll go there. And then just for cosmetic purposes, more than anything else, let's go with We'll have everything line up. And I'm sort of messing it around a little. Um, all right, a lot. But then we having it all lined up, it will look look brilliant later on. Okay, so what have we got on this we can drop off? Uh, so we are starting to have the ah, uh, yes. I forgot about this. Um, basically, what we need is an or return, sorry, an ingot return system as well. So, but hold on. That could flow through there. No, no, it won't flow through there. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Ah. Uh. Okay. Right. Alrighty then. So, this one here is our return. We'll have that in off mode, we'll have that on drain all. Because what we're going to then do is we are going to wipe 
looking at whitelist everything. So we're going to have ammo, components, tools, ingots, and ore all pulled through here back to the ship. An idea just sprang to mind. In programmable blocks, um, you know, we have the event controller. I'm just wondering, would the event controller allow it that if this block gets turned on, that that block, that block, and that block gets turned off? So all of the feed blocks get turned off. That'd be an interesting concept to see, actually. So yeah, okay. We'll give that a, tr a chance to build and we'll see what we can we can gain from it all. Right, production wise, we've got nothing going on, so. Four hundred superconductors in there. Holy, I think we've actually run out of some of the materials that we need. It's like we've run out of of iron. All right. Okay. Um, Okay. Now where is it I'm looking for? It's not that one. Oh, now it sparks as soon as that starts moving. Huh. 
Huh? My magnet has disappeared. Hmm. Oh, that explains that in my in my toolbar. Now, where did I put the controls? No, I didn't. All right. Do this manually. You allowed me to do that the other day. Why not now? I'm starting to think that the hinge is not strong enough for this job. Because that is not moving at all. Uh, all right. How am I going to do this? Because all of that is stuck in there now. You had to be a pain. Uh. Because, look at this. Doesn't matter how I set the torque, it won't move. Braking torque? Doesn't matter. 
I mean, that could be set at zero. I mean, you know, because we're not exactly using it at the moment. Velocity wise, that should be moving. Shared inertia or not, that should be moving. Whoa, 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 what the hell? So what I'll probably do is off camera, I'm going to get that to rise up and then I'll disassemble it. I'll add the rotor system. It would probably be better to, for, to connect this up. Maybe a dual rotor system. Well, we got it connected in the end. I mean, it's not exactly pretty, but I mean, it worked. You know. Oh, now that I need it, there is no wiring. Brilliant. Why are these wolves attacking each other for crying out loud? Right, well, I'll leave that to its own devices. Um, yeah, I think it's time we take our little trading vessel and... Uh, Let's see about maybe getting acquiring some iron from the from the other trading station. I mean, yeah, we could we could mine it, but we're meant to be trading. So, hold on, where's the other? That's trading station one. We want trading station two. I 
I mean, it'd be easy just to be able to mine everything, but where's the fun in there? Thank you. 